வெல்கம் டு அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் கிட் ஹப் கோ பாலட் டுடேஸ் எபிசோட் லெட் இஸ் லுக் ஆன் ஹவு டு யூஸ் கிட் ஹப் கோ பாலட் ஃபார் ஜென்ரேட்டிங் சாஃப்ட்வேர் டிசைன் டயக்ராம்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த கோட் அவைலபிள் தீஸ் சாஃப்ட்வேர் டிசைன் டயக்ராம்ஸ் விஷுவலைஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாஃப்ட்வேர் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ராசஸஸ் இட் மேக்ஸ் இட் ஈஸியர் ஃபார் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் டிசைன் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேட் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் தீஸ் டயக்ராம்ஸ் ஆர் நார்மலி பார்ட் ஆஃப் அவர் documentations when you create a new product documents we may include the class diagram flow chart sequence diagram many such diagrams so today let us see how we can generate such diagrams with the help of github copilot without further ado let me go to the code base we have a class here property controller it's a rest api class either you can use rest api or any of the generic classes respective of any classes normally we construct a class diagram so let us see how we can generate a class diagram using copilot as copilot is dealing with code you need to ensure that you select one of the library or the programming which support the generation of diagrams in a code base i am using mermaid here mermaid is uh, integrated to our markdown setup so i can use mermaid js for generating the class diagram of this particular file that is nothing but property controller so i have passed the prompt to copilot to create the class diagram using mermaid js for the property controller class and their class diagram is generated by the copilot let me just quickly copy this one into an empty markdown file normally for integrating with markdown we need to add this mermaid block under that you need to provide the class structure as these three class definitions are empty i'm going to remove that the remaining is as it is let us see how the preview comes up once you click on preview of the md you can observe that the class diagram is generated property controller is utilizing property context and we have a property entity and which contain a one is to many relation with the image url another entity so this is the class diagram corresponding to my property controller class if you want to generate even this uh, block information you can revise the same by using copilot itself you can specify copilot that revise the above recommendation to add it in a readme or markdown file or md file so it's going to add that mermaid block all together along with the class diagram structure as you can observe that it's added the mermaid diagram st- construct here which we already added as part of M- md diagram so this is how you generate quickly the class diagrams out of the code base let us move to a data schema kind of thing here we have a schema defined as db script dot sql normally for database schemas we generate the entity relation diagram let us pass the same requirement to uh, copilot that is generate a mermaid js entity relationship diagram for the schema defined in specify the file which file contain the schema we have a db script dot sql which contain the schema as you can observe that it's uh, coming up with a er diagram corresponding to the schema we have here so let me just quickly copy this one into our empty md file so this mermaid block is also included so let me just copy paste into this one the entire er diagram is copied here let us see how the diagrams are constructed the schema contain a users table with a couple of fields and it has a one to many relationship with owner details which owns multiple properties and properties has a one to many relation with image url 
so there are to total four different tables with the multiple fields and relationships set up even it's captured the primary key and foreign key relations everywhere properly so a quick generation of an ER diagram out of your code can be done with the help of copilot itself going a little detail into another way of diagramming here we have a property details component this component may have multiple methods which will be invoked by the user itself let us see how the user journey when the user hit this component how this journey will be based on a diagrammatic representation so again i am asking copilot to generate a mermaid js user journey diagram for the file hash file specify the file that is property details file for this particular class i need a user diagram how the user execute or interact with my component step by step information that will help us understand the complete information about this class so let me go back again review this uh, diagram generated here let me replace the existing entity diagram with our newly generated user journey diagram as you can observe that it generated a user journey diagram start with a page load where the user interact with the page and it goes for the info validation of the id and it's a uh, loading this property details and if there is an error handling is there in case id is invalid there is a logging of the error message also so it's provide the end-to-end -end detail in a component level for example i need a little more information in terms of not the component i may be looking more of a specific method here we have a load property data so i need to understand how the user journey for hitting this particular method itself then we can ask copilot generate the mermaid js diagram which diagram i need to say user journey diagram for for a particular method so for loading the property data in page 5 so in property details i am particularly interested on this particular method that is a load property data method how the user journey will be for this particular method that is my ask so copilot is coming especially when you deal with a class with n number of uh, methods and a complex program then you may need a user journey diagram for a single method altogether so let us see how this diagram is generated let me just remove the existing one and replace the new one and quickly go ahead and preview it this time after re initialization it's going to load the property data if the id present what needs to be done not present what needs to be done id is invalid what will be the errors so it's targeted only that method and defined a user journey diagram for that going back to our code till now we deal with a class diagram entity relationship diagram or user journey diagram which is dealing with a single file but sometimes we may need the details between multiple files the diagram needs to be constructed based on information from multiple files in that case we can use copilot to get the diagram based on multiple file here i am going to create a markdown or i can specify that create the sequence diagram for the sequence of steps in specify which um, which methods or which files need to be passed i have two files here one is the html and the next file is the ts file 
So I want to see the sequence diagram which between these two one the UI component and the backend component how this sequence diagram will be constructed. So it's came up with a sequence diagram. Let me again review this sequence diagram in our MD file format. Here replacing our user journey with the sequence diagram data and going ahead and previewing this one. So you can observe that the user will hit the listing component that internally hit a property details component and service. At the end service will go to the backend and get the details. So this is the entire information or sequence of execution for a particular Angular component. Moving to the next step, uh, it's not only a diagram generation. Sometimes we may need additional information. You can ask Copilot the same way. In the above mentioned diagram, normally as part of sequence diagram, we normally uh, highlight the issues or highlight the vulnerabilities and uh, security concerns. So I am asking Copilot to identify the potential security vulnerabilities and add that as nodes into the diagram. So the copilot needs to identify the vulnerabilities, especially security vulnerabilities and add that as a nodes to my sequence diagram. That's the expectation I set. So let us see how Copilot is able to generate the sequence diagram by adding security vulnerability information altogether. So I'm going back and reviewing the one. This is the previous one. And let us replace this with the new sequence diagram information and go ahead and preview it. As you can observe that there are some of the vulnerabilities in yellow color here. There is a potential security vulnerability, improper error handling, there is a improper input validation and backend validation authentication checks and there is a data displayed it's sanitized cross-site attack so multiple security issues also captured fantastic it's a, came up with a proper diagram which explain the end-to-end -end sequence of execution for this particular component so take the help of Copilot and generate even the other diagrams like the flowchart or the use case diagrams. Thank you.